Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 19th, 2019. So what do we got going on in this market this morning? Well, kind of an interesting, it was really an interesting day yesterday. If we looked at, at the intraday, there was a, a real struggle. It was as if the, the market had kind of lost some momentum. We were chopping in a very, very small range. But what was interesting to make note of is that the futures were always constant and persistently pushing trying to get the market to break out. It was really interesting to watch. The futures led the market the entire day and eventually in the early afternoon was finally able to breach that high that we'd been struggling around all morning in the market and made new record highs in the market. The bulls are clearly in control. <clears throat> And even though I feel like we, and I could, you know, I could be very wrong here. Um, I feel like we're a bit stretched in this market. There's no discounting the fact that the bulls are in control. They are relentlessly pushing higher. And there doesn't seem to be anything that they're allowing to really get in their way of new highs. So, for example, we have some uh, pretty ugly earnings reports this morning, uh, moving uh, stocks down, um, Home Depot moving down, and, and Kohl's moving sharply lower, and some of those retail stocks, but it doesn't matter. We're going higher this morning, although it did temper that bullishness just a little bit after Home Depot missed on sales. So right now, bulls are in control. They are relentlessly moving higher. One thing I would want to caution everyone on is just to make sure that you don't get caught up in the emotion of this bull run. It's kind of interesting to make note of that we're seeing um, um, things that you would not normally see moving up in this market along with those growth sectors. So for example, we have technology moving up, but we also saw bullish moves in defensive sector stocks, bullish moves in utility stocks, bullish moves in gold and silver stocks, which is kind of odd. Um, and, and it's kind of a rare event. So enjoy it. Um, while while we have this going on how long it lasts i don't know but one thing i would suggest is to always make sure to be careful not to get caught up in the emotion remember to um take some profits along the way because eventually this will settle down now this morning we're looking at a gap up open in the market. And although we've had some pretty ugly earnings reports, we're still very, very bullish in this market. There doesn't seem to be much of anything preventing the bulls from moving higher. So once again, that caution that I always issue a gap up open, let's make sure that we actually get some follow through to that gap up open. Be careful not to chase the open just in case that happens to uh, create that well, that pop and drop pattern, it will happen eventually, whether it's today or tomorrow or next week or next month. I have no idea when it could occur. Just make sure you're not being, you're not chasing into the emotion of this bullishness. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also pushing out to new record highs and just really showing some strength here. There doesn't seem to be a, a single thing that the market has a concern about. Just go higher. So bulls are in control. There's no sign here in this chart suggesting anything other than that. And we're looking at a gap up this morning again today in the SPY. Let's take a look at the Qs. Q's also showing bullishness this morning, also showing that relentless push to the upside. New record highs yesterday and another gap up this morning. Just no stopping here. We just want more and more. Seems to be an unlimited supply of money flowing into the market right now with really no concern um, as to how much we have already moved. So pretty interesting. Um, I think we just have to stay on our toes and stay focused on price action in case that sentiment suddenly shifts. So watch that close. IWM, on the other hand, IWM is just continuing to lag behind. IWM didn't really participate yesterday, actually moved lower 
on the day. So the small caps aren't finding the love that the rest of the market is. But here, once again, IWM is looking to follow along here just a little bit, gap up this morning, kind of into this little downtrend that it's been struggling with here in the market. It's interesting that there's just no love for IWM, but there is an unlimited supply of love for the other three indexes. Kind of interesting. Let's take a look at the VIX. <clears throat> it was interesting yesterday that the VIX actually rallied a bit and there was some fear kind of coming into the market. But then toward the early afternoon when we finally broke that resistance high um, in the market and broke some of those new um, into those new records, that VIX started to diminish and slip back down. So as you can see, we have a pretty strong VIX here <clears throat> showing that there's no fear in the market. But I do worry that we may be reaching that point of complacency down in here and we'll have to watch that pretty carefully um, overall. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 was interesting yesterday in that it actually pulled back, it declined, which means that <clears throat> although we saw a lot of different sectors moving up yesterday, the um, the actual stocks moving those sectors was pretty select, um, which means uh, although we had kind of that broad base across sectors of 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 um, buying going on in different sectors, it was very select stocks that were moving the market. So we had T2122 pulling back. Now the good news in that is that opens up a big potential upside move yet and we're getting that gap up this morning. So there's no fear that we're going to just immediately run into a resistance high um, here in the market. There's plenty of upside potential. We also want to keep in mind that if that sentiment were to reverse, we also have plenty of downside potential. So keep that in mind uh, when you look at T2122. Right now, hey, anything is possible and the bulls are firmly in control. They just have uh, seem to have limitless energy to push to the upside. Let's take a look <clears throat> at our economic calendar today. Now, our economic calendar will have something to say about how this market performs um, today. We have the housing starts number here at 8.30 this morning. Now, I don't think that anyone is expecting that to really shift directions or anything like that. So it may not have a, a, a massive effect um, or be very market moving today because our interest rates are so low <clears throat> There's a lot of activity in that housing market out there, uh, folks buying and uh, pushing really hard to pick up some homes and, and new homes because of the low rates. So I wouldn't expect to see that um, cause too much problem here in the market today. But, you know, anything is possible. So keep an eye on that. And then we have a Fed speaker, which seems to be in a, almost every day anymore. We have a Fed, Fed speaker. And then just kind of keep in mind that tomorrow we get those FOMC minutes. And it's not uncommon for the market to just kind of be slow and choppy as we wait for those FOMC minutes. The only difference this time around is just simply that I, I'm not sure we're going to learn anything new. The hopefulness of the last few months is that we were going to learn something new in the minutes and um, give us that would give us that hope of a new rate cut. But the FOMC has kind of come out and said no more rate cuts for the time being. So I doubt we're going to learn much more in the FOMC minutes um, for tomorrow. So that may offset <clears throat> its normal effect. Um, as we wait for that report to come out. So with that, guys, I wanna wish you all a great day in your trading. I wanna wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also, if you feel the video is worthy, 
um, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. It's to look at the technicals of the charts, to try and remove emotion from the day and really focus in on what we see here, the charts, the price patterns, the things like that. And if you find that helpful, um, I would really appreciate you taking the time to leave that brief comment. It helps those algorithms to show these videos to more folks, helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much for those of you who take the time to do that. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. So let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up. And remember, every time I bring up a stock that could be setting up, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just an idea that you can um, use to um, evaluate, put on a watch list, and keep an eye on the stock. So what's going on here? Well, kind of interesting, um, uh, like I said, sectors in different places um, showing signs of, a, of massive improvement. Let's take a look at um, XLP. Now this was brought to my attention by one of the members yesterday. XLP, here's a consumer staples sector, which is normally not a sector that you would see moving up in a wildly bullish market. It's more of that conservative um, sector. But you can see XLP here, really nice day yesterday, poking itself out. And if we look at this on a weekly, breaking that weekly resistance in that chart, starting to show some significant bullishness um, as those staples are picking up in this very bullish market. So you might want to keep a, a, an eye on some of these staples. You know, one of the great things about TC2000, it's really easy to find out what stocks are in the um, this sector and you just click one icon here and brings up a list of everything that that is included in XLP which is really handy and then you can quickly sort through and find out what's moving um, that sector if you want to look for the individual stock rather than the ETF um, <clears throat> kind of one of the one of the great features of TC2000 software, in my opinion. Let's take a look at some other stocks that are moving and potentially setting up. Take a look at JP Morgan. Um, there's been a nice move in a lot of the um, uh, financial big financial companies, and good setups are occurring in here. So if you take a look at XLP, XLP, I'm going to go to my naked chart here. And XLP moving up nicely, moving in a trend, and this trend has steepened considerably. So we saw this pullback, this pullback to hold support in here. Now we're pushing to try and break through that high. And yesterday it was really, really pushing hard, trying to look um, look higher. We we identified that in right way options early on in the day. Also take a look at stocks like you know Goldman Sachs. Uh, starting to show bullish signs, holding in trends. We have this nice trend in here. We're testing these resistance levels in the chart. And just notice that this is a productive pattern right in here. If that can push on through, then we'll have Goldman breaking out. And that's really the same if you look uh, through um, um, other um, stocks in the big bank um, sector. Big bullish moves, nice strong, um, energy consolidating those moves over if we take a look uh, testing some support levels in the charts boy just take a look at some of those big banks they're doing really really well and something you might want to put on your list and keep an eye on take a look at the stock TAL TAL interesting stock and I actually placed an alert on this ch uh, chart yesterday because of this nice tight consolidation I call this a pop out of the box pattern and I'm gonna pull this chart back I'm gonna go to a weekly just to point out that there is um, some resistance high in this chart that we have to be concerned about um, right in here. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to consolidate in here after this big move up, the stock is just resting going sideways. And I placed an alert in here because this is a very low risk entry type trade. 
with this box being very narrow and if we do happen to get that bullish signal in here I can get a trade in this with a low risk as we push on up to this area around 47 uh, plenty of upside room particularly for an option trader to make some money um, in that stock so one to keep an eye on whether it moves on up or not I can't tell you that but I can tell you that I can wait for the trade and uh, pay attention to that if it does start to move. Take a look at FEYE. FEYE is doing very much the same thing, just kind of we've had a little back and forth in it as you can see those tails in here and I'm going to go again to a weekly chart just to point out that we do have resistance in this chart to consider. Um, this is just not a uh, free to just move all the way up kind of chart but FEYE has had a really strong run here and if I draw a trend on this we're getting close to our trend so any time in here we could see that possibility of FireEye trying to push on higher and it looks like we might move up just a little bit this morning uh, with this bullish mist so watch close if that happens to push on through um, in the chart. I was watching AXP for a possible move higher and yesterday saw that sink back down. So we're coming back into this little level of support. We've got this bit of an inverted head and shoulders head uh, pattern here in this chart and we're trying to hold on to the neckline of this support. So we're trying to hang on in here and as you can see we push down but I want you to notice what's happening this morning we are possibly gapping up um, on this so this could recover come right back up out of here and still have an opportunity to move higher Let's keep Keep AXP on your list if you have an interest in that kind of stock. There may be something going on here overall. Altria. Altria moved on through yesterday. This is a stock that a lot of folks in RWO um, are in. Uh, some have already taken profits. There's that beautiful trend. There's this um, alert that I have on the chart and this popped on through and really found some energy the last couple of trading days moving on up. Altria looking strong. I wouldn't chase this long right now. I would wait for the next entry into the trade, but it's holding up very, very well, looking pretty darn strong. Here's another odd thing, um, if you ask me. We're seeing a very strong bullishness in some of these consumer defensives as the market is just racing to new highs. Take a look at Kroger here. Now Kroger grocery store chain, as you can see, we broke through some resistance here in this chart on a nice big earnings move. And now we're pulling back and resting in that pattern. So let's keep an eye on this chart as we continue to rest in here. It may take a little bit of time for this rest um, depends on where this trend really starts to place itself. Wouldn't be all too surprised to see that continue to kind of chop sideways or even move down a little bit holding on to this price support. But let's watch Kroger. Kroger could eventually set up for a nice potential move. And then always be aware that a stock like this can change its trend trajectory. So for example, with that bullish candle yesterday, bullish and gold candle as a matter of fact that could change that trajectory and this becomes the new trend if that can move on up and if we take a look at our bid ask right in here a little separation in here but if I go to the bid price you can see we could be getting a little bit of follow-through um, here this morning so let's watch that one closely how about O'Reilly O'Reilly finally breaking through. Here's another one of those stocks that had a big breakout move in its earnings event. So there's that big breakout move, that nice wedge pattern. We pop through, we've consolidated that move, and now we're starting to show that bullishness that we want to push on higher. Keep an eye on that chart. Any um, it could be a purchase right now. Any rest or pullback in here could set up a great opportunity on the trade. So keep an eye on O'Reilly. Another stock that really was very nice yesterday 
is Costco. Now Costco moving up in this beautiful little trend, it's being um, challenged by this resistance right here in the chart. So we're gonna wanna watch that closely if Costco can finally pop through there. And by the way, anytime we're near those big round numbers around 300, those are always challenging areas for a chart. We're holding above that big round 300 number and we're trying to push higher. Watch this closely if that can move on through to the upside. There may be more potential upside in that chart looking pretty strong overall. Last but not least, I'm gonna take a look at Valero here. Valero has been consolidating. Notice that this stock likes to move sideways after a big move up. And Valero has, Valero has consolidated nicely in a very tight range here, moving over toward its trend. And if we take a look at the bigger picture, next upside resistance is up here around 105 so there may be plenty of move in here particularly for an option trader if this happens to kick up in here and move on through to that next resistance in the chart so with that everyone i want to wish you all the best today hopefully you find something in there that maybe uh, makes some sense to you that you can pick up some ideas on how i look at charts not that that's the right way to look at charts but how i look at charts and how i've built a career uh, doing this kind of technical work Folks, if, if, if you're struggling as a trader right now, I wanna encourage you to never give up. I know it's frustrating at times if you're not making money and you see other uh, the market moving up and other traders making money, that can be very, very frustrating. But don't give up on yourself. Never give up on that dream of being a full-time trader. Because believe me, if I can do it, if this old carpenter can figure out how to have gotten that done and been able to um, uh, have 15 years here as a full-time trader, um, anyone can do it. Trust me on that. Uh, nothing special about me. I'm just like everyone else. If I can do it, you can. So never give up on yourself. Everyone take care. I want to wish you all the best and we'll see you bright and early. Wednesday morning. Take care, guys.